Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today we're in radiology at the veterinary hospital. Radiology is our x-rays, right? I'm going to talk about what we do at the veterinary office when we're, you know, x-raying a patient, as well the process of getting there. Alright, we got our patient now. So, we'll call this guy Franklin, and Franklin doesn't feel good. When we want to x-ray a patient, we want to find out where we don't feel good so we're not overdoing with our x-rays. For example, we have a broken leg, we're going to treat just that leg. If we have a, a breathing issue, the chest, the thorax, let's say we're vomiting, the abdomen. Today, we're going to say that we have a belly problem, right? Our belly hurts. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this little tool here to measure how big his belly is. Remember guys, we don't want to overexpose our patient. So we measured him and we're going to call him an eight. So we come back to our computer and we put in that he measures an eight and that allows me to then go to my radiology, my x-ray machine, and I can pick how much KVP and how much MA to pick from. This will adjust how much exposure of x-rays my patient has. If I overdo it or underdo it, my x ray is going to look horrible. And then to redo it, or I send it to a specialist and be like, Dr. Dan, you did a horrible job, retake it. So it's important to measure and then set correctly for the best picture when you're all done. So we measured, it looks awesome. Now it's time for me to be safe, right? I'm going to come over here and I'm going to grab. Now I also have a badge on, guys. This allows me to be assessed if I'm over radiating myself over a certain duration of time. I now have my metal on to protect my body. And I'm also going to grab my thyroid shield because this is, needs to be covered up too. And then let's grab some gloves. And you know what's tough? I grab a right glove all the time and then I grab another right glove. And I'm going to do today. We did awesome, got both sides, cool. I'm gonna pop this on. Now you know what's really hard? Holding like a husky, guys, with these gloves, it's just like ridiculous. But anyways, safety first. So we have our left and our right. And let's say Franklin doesn't feel good, we have to take multiple shots. If you take one shot, let's say, and you go straight down, I'll get the x-ray, you know? I, I could miss where it is, so I need to take a shot straight down, and a shot on the side. And that allows me to localize where the problem is. Sometimes I'll even take three shots that we have super confident with where the, where the problem is. So when we're x-ray, if I put him on his right side, I'm gonna put the R next to him so I know I'm shooting on his right side. If he's on his belly, I'm gonna put the R over here. So now that we're getting ready, I'm going to turn the machine on, I'm going to line him up, I'm going to make sure the x-ray focuses on his belly, and right here is a foot pedal, and all I'm going to do is press it, it'll go beep beep, and bam, we got an x-ray. Now, when I was in high school, I used to work at a veterinary hospital developing x-rays. I just sit in a dark room and just like dip it in there forever, it was silly. Now, we take it and just right over here, and it's possible on the computer, and literally, guys, like three, four seconds, I have my picture. And if I shot the wrong location, have bad exposure, I can redo it right away. So if it looks good, awesome. Let's go ahead and put him on his right side. And you're gonna have someone helping you, of course. And goes on his side like this, and go like that. I get both my gloves on. Or if I'm able to, let's say the patient's doing really good, I can always need to put a glove over the side of him and step away a little bit and then shoot. Because remember, our goal is to get as far away from the exposure as possible. Now, we took our x-rays, looks good. We will look at it. If we can't figure it out, we'll send it off to a board certified radiologist and they'll charge me a ton of money <laughs> and then they'll send it back to me and then I'll know what's going on. But most of the time, your veterinarian is going to be able to diagnose it in-house. Let's say you have a really big doggy, like really big. Let's say like a Mastiff. You have this, you can pop it on there, and that allows you to get even more pet on your table. So, 
That is basically radiology. We take a lot of x-rays, guys. Like, literally, uh, me, I, I work with three other veterinarians. I say I probably take, for my own case load, probably three or four a day. Broken legs, vomiting, breathing issues. It's one of those minimum database things we do. We do x-rays and blood work to build a case to help us diagnose, because animals can't talk to us, right? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, greatly appreciate it. And I hope your doggies, kitties are happy and healthy. I hope you are too. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it. Take care, bye.